So you want to be the next Satoshi Kon. Well, then I hope you can write, animate, draw, direct, and chain smoke cigarettes as if breathing were an optional bodily function. I first found out about Satoshi Kon from here on YouTube. Tony from Every Frame of Painting made a video six years ago on Satoshi Kon, and that was my first experience with the man and the myth and the legend. Link to that video down in the description below. In that video, Tony talks about the editing techniques that make Satoshi Kon films so engaging to an audience. Really, it came down to two things for Kon's editing style, uh, the use of the match cut and his fast editing speed. The match cut is a pretty straightforward editing technique where compositionally the last frame of a scene will match the starting frame of a new scene. Once you see it in Kohn's film, you'll start to see it all over the place in all of his works, whether it be on film or in manga. And Kohn's editing speed is fast and deliberate and can incite terror and fear into an audience, like when he showcases the instance Eddie? of a kidnapping. <laughs> But these are just two details focused on Kon's editing style, and what I wanted to focus on in this video is what makes Satoshi Kon a master storyteller. Because in my eyes, what makes Satoshi Kon great, even a master, is really his understanding and ability to visualize language. See, books, like books with real words, not just comic books, are great. And they're great because an author is able to allow us, the reader, to train our imagination to see a brand new world through the author's perspective. Books are one of, if not the most intimate form of storytelling. For hours, you get to sit and read and see a world through another person's viewpoint. And why do I bring this up? Well, it's because at the end of the day, Satoshi Kon was a master of what I would call visual metaphor. Paprika Kon's hit 2006 psychological thriller was actually originally a novel written by Yatsutaka Tsutsui. And then there's Perfect Blue, another terrifying psychological thriller and perhaps my favorite of Kon's films also had its beginnings as a novel. Now Kon the director did have tons of freedom to do as he wished with the source material and believe me, he did, but listen to him talk about his love for the novel Paprika. See, visualizing language is hard because sentences don't always translate to an image one to one, but Kon developed a technique for handling tricky situations when adapting a novel to film. Directors don't have the luxury of allowing an audience to imagine what they're trying to say. On-screen visuals must be impactful, direct, and finished. So through visual metaphor, Khan gets a lot of mileage out of his source material. I think a great example of what I'm talking about comes from Pak Brika via the windshield scene. Dreams are being eaten by other dreams, creating these delusions for real people in tricky situations. But how do you visually show that a dream is eating another dream? Well, this is how Khan did it. Time and time again, you'll find these instances of Kon relating a character's dialogue to actual on-screen visuals just to make it that much clearer to the audience. It's that technique that I think allows Kon to give his audience an incredible amount of freedom to make thoughts and observations about the world they're viewing. Kon comes closest to emulating that intimate novel-like experience on the big screen that I've ever really seen. and. And it's what I think makes his work worth studying and aspiring to emulate in some ways. Kon was a master of mystery and suspense. And when you watch Kon's movie, you're going to have these moments where you think to yourself, what the f is going on? It happened during the doctor's monologue in the chairman's office in Paprika. And it happened to me almost throughout Perfect Blue until the very end. His visuals push the audience to ask not just any questions, but the right questions. Where is this parade going? Is my main character delusional? 
being able to connect imagery to the written word. This is what I think makes Kon a master of storytelling. So if you're looking to be more like Satoshi Kon, I think you're on the right track to becoming a great storyteller. I think we'll be watching Kon's films uh, for many, many years down the road. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if there's any manga or, you know, comic book culture e anime-esque things that you'd like me to talk about on this channel, don't hesitate to ask. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.